Hey, man. Thanks for coming back. Uh, listen, I'm going to uh, have this discussion with you guys, and it's going to start off with this right here. Wherever you work as a bartender or a server, uh, you are working with a company or a bar or some place where they've entrusted you. You don't own, if you don't own the business, you're working for somebody. You work for yourself making tips, but somebody else has put together that business. They pay the business license, they pay the taxes, they do all the things that make it a business that you show up to, to go to. Whether it's an event someplace offsite, whether it's a brick and mortar building that you show up at. Here's the thing, you work for that person. They've given you an opportunity to work. Uh, you should treat the business as if it was your own, meaning you don't own the business, you don't get the right to give something away. You know, so if you give something away and, and, the, and the owner does not know it, or it's not inventory, or it's not put on a spill sheet, or a log sheet, or a damage sheet, or anything like that, then basically you're stealing. And, and I know that they probably build in pilferage, theft, into the system of, of the price for what it is that they're charging a guest or whatever it is that they're selling. The thing is, is that you have to have the best interest of the person that you're working for in your mind. You need to do the right thing. You give the guest exactly what they pay for, no more, no less. They're paying for it, they should get it. They, they shouldn't be shorted either. So don't short your guest uh, on alcohol because it's just not right either. So you steal from guests, you steal from your owner or the person who's in charge of this company or whatever, you're a thief, okay? And if you're a thief that way, then guess what? I would hate to work with you because you're probably gonna take tips and put them in your pocket as opposed to putting them in the chip jar where everybody's supposed to split it at the end of the night. Can't stand that. That's just not right, okay? Do everything you can to sleep well at night because it's gonna catch up to you. Somehow, some way, it's going to be seen, it's going to be noticed, and you cannot live down being called a thief as a bartender. You can be called a bad bartender. You could be called clumsy. You could be called not informed. You can just be a really shitty person. But you can never outlive a thief. Never. It's, it's like somebody calling it just can't be done and once people think you're a thief then then they don't trust you and it's very hard to have any kind of interaction or any kind of business so just don't do it treat everybody right ring them up right ring up whatever it is that you sold you know cash them out the correct way take care of people okay because they're taking care of you if you don't like the situation that you're in if you want to get back at somebody the best thing that you can do is just move on to a nicer place and that just requires you to do the very best that you can to want to be recruited by another bar or another location or another owner. And it's never going to happen if somebody hears that you're a thief. So always do your best. Always do the right thing. That way you sleep well at night. And good things do happen to people that put their time in, pay their dues, and just are not accused of being thieves. So just do the right thing. Do the right thing by your guest customers. Do the right thing by the owners or shareholders or company that you work for. Do the right thing. You know, when you do the right thing, if you're, not, if you're not being treated fairly, just try to put your time in as much as you can. Do the right thing and something will happen. It'll break. There'll be a job offer. There'll be somebody that comes in and says, hey, you know what? You're, you're a good person. You know, when you're ready to move on, then you can move on. Do it as nice as you can. Do it in a way that allows you to be recommended. Do it in a way that um, a guest would, would search you out because you're no longer in the location you were in. You know, that, hey, where's that guy, Vaughn? I like that guy. He's a good guy. Or, you know, he's a great bartender or whatever. It's a, very, it's a compliment to hear that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment for some more of the stuff that I'm talking about right now. Appreciate it.